Hi everybody, my name is Nate Repitz, the tire guy on the Jason Johnson Racing All Ball 41 team. Wings, they're the most defining characteristic of our dirt sprint cars in the world of Outlaw and Austin Energy Drink Sprint Car Series. They've been a part of the series since the beginning, but Ted Johnson made them a fixture in 1982 for performance and safety. On today's Tech Talk, we're gonna take a look at uh, these big sideboard billboards downforce machines on our sprint cars. So first, some characteristics of both the nose wing and the top wing. They're constructed out of aluminum, and we get them at our shop as separate bellies and sideboards that we attach together using silicone and eighth inch rivets after they are powder coated. The wings provide downforce, so as air flows over the top, they push the car down into the racetrack. They're also a safety feature. They'll absorb impact and slow the rotation of the car in case of a crash. On both the nose and top wing, we can run up to a two inch wicker bill that you see on the back. This is a half inch and then this is a two inch. The wicker bills uh, provide extra downforce. The taller they are, the more air resistance, the more downforce on the wing. So here we have a nose wing or a front wing. This belly or the center section on the nose wing by rule is six square feet. It has to have four 90 degree corners, square or rectangular and it has a dish in it uh, that is all defined by our rule book. The nose wings are attached with posts in the front and then straps in the back. They're non-adjustable, can't adjust the nose wing during the race. Most teams will find one set position and leave the nose wing in that one position every racetrack they go to. The front edge of the nose wing here cannot be more than 20 inches from the front edge of the front axle. The belly of the top wing is 25 square feet, typically five by five, so square or rectangular with four 90 degree corners. On the sideboards, they are typically 72 inch by 30 inch, and then the right sideboard has a cutout at the bottom. That's to allow a little more visibility for the driver in the race car. The sideboards of the top wing are attached with braces on the right side and straps on the left. The sideboards are offset because as the race car slides this way through the corner, the wind blows this way. The sideboards catch the wind and actually sucks the whole car down to the left. That's a characteristic of a sprint car that's not seen in other forms of motorsports. The top wing attaches with these wing trees on the back and these posts on the front. We can change the size of our wing tree and the length of these posts, as well as change the tab locations, front or back, on the race car frame. The slightest change of location on these tabs will greatly affect the geometry of the race car, changing the way the downforce is applied to the frame. The driver can adjust the wing forward and back in the car during the race. In here, they have this uh, slider valve that runs off of our power steering lines. They move the lever forward and back, and through these lines, up to this cylinder, will slide the wing back and forth. Typically, as the race goes on and the track loses grip, you'll see drivers slide the wing back to give more downforce and compensate for the fuel load that's burning off. Thank you all for watching. I hope you enjoyed learning a little bit about wings today. Let us know what you want to learn about next. We hope to see you out at a race soon or tuned in live on Dirt Vision. <laughs>